These days, we're all hearing a lot of buzz about mobile IDs, digital driver's licenses, and electronic identity credentials. But what does it really take to bring a digital driver's license from a concept to a reality? We set out on a cross-country mission to understand exactly that. Over the last year, we conducted workshops, held focus groups, collected feedback, and listened to the unique perspectives and critical considerations from key stakeholders and experts in the DDL ecosystem. We then refined our digital driver's license solution with all of that in mind. And now, we're hitting the streets to put our technology to the test. Would you like to display your identification using your digital driver's license today? I would. I would describe the state of Maryland as very forward thinking as far as technology. Certainly open to review new technologies to make licensing process better not only for the customers but also for the police and all other stakeholders. All right, just wait here in the vehicle. I'll be right back with you. And with a digital driver's license, if the resident lose their physical driver's license, their information is just out there. But if they lose their phone, it's not an issue because it's password protected. And then they can contact us. We can remotely just wipe out their driver's license. When they get their new phone, we can then remotely download that driver's license and they're good to go. From the demonstration I've seen and my actual use of the digital driver's license over the last several days, I believe it's something that we as a state absolutely need to be looking at for the adoption of it. I would recommend a digital driver's license to anyone who ask me about its appropriateness and ease of use and security. Uh, the digital driver's license has three buttons on the bottom, one for TSA, one for law enforcement, and one for age. It just doesn't get any simpler than that. Well, I'm looking forward to having a more streamlined, efficient process for verifying identity, taking away the human error. No, I, I think they'll definitely take to it because you have the assurance of knowing that if the machine says it's good, it's the same database that that the uh, state uses, so I think it's going to just give you a peace of mind. Each state's driver's license has a different place where the birth date is marked. Finding that can sort of be a haze. This does the two things that you want. It shows the picture very clearly and it says over 21 or under 21 very clearly and that makes our job much, much easier. Yes, we like to try new things. Actually, after working with it, it's so simple. I don't think there's going to be a big learning curve at all. Your driver's license or your identification card is your, really your golden ticket. By putting it on your smartphone, it just gives you much more flexibility. Technology changes and it's becoming more and more of our everyday life. For DMV to not be spearheading and leading that new way of life is really just a disservice to our public and our community. So we should absolutely be at the leading edge of technology. Code accepted. That was fast. fast yeah. That there are multiple layers of security involved in this. At any given time when one of these credentials is scanned, it's going to detect if that was a genuine document issued by a state DMV facility. When you start talking about digital information and the encryption, it's more secure than actually presenting a, a credit card or, or a driver's license in person. Physical cards can always be forged at some point in time. I mean, all you really need is the same printer that they use to print the ID. That stuff's not as proprietary as it could be. The potential is just amazing and it's endless as far as reaching out to our customers and being able to communicate with them. It's one application across the board. So assume that this application is rolled out across all 50 states. It doesn't matter whether you're from Alabama, Washington DC, Maryland, any resident can use this technology. They can have access to their driver license wherever they go. With the digital driver's license, you have that extra step of verifying the identity to make sure the person really is who they say they are. We love technology at the lottery. We're always thinking about the future and finding ways to make things fun and speaking to the millennials who want to use their phones for everything. We're trying to look into the future as, as best that we can for our own products and fun games that can be played digitally as well. From the tests that we're doing right now, I think that customers find it pretty convenient and easy to use. Everything's going on your phone mobily and people are used to that in this day and age and I think it'll be easy for them to adapt. I think it's a fabulous idea. I think it absolutely people would adapt to it because it's, it's safer. Anything that makes your life easier and safer, it's got to be good. We thank all of the jurisdictions and our partners who have helped us to pioneer this project. 
We invite you to continue this journey with us as we shape the future of digital identity. Everybody gets the readers and the right technology to make it happen and make it a lot more convenient. So, yeah, he likes it too. <laughs> I mean, the first thing I remember is plugging in, you know, an 8-track, and then all of a sudden there were tapes, and then CDs, and then I got an MP3 player, and then I just used my phone for everything. Seems the next logical choice. I think it's a fantastic idea.